Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on this natural daily makeup look, which is perfect for school or work or just daily wear, so let's get started. So starting off with the base, I'm going to be applying on this Chosunga Rebeam Cream, and this will just help to give a dewy look to the skin. Now using the Sam Tip Concealer, I'm going to be concealing my dark circles, highlighting my nose bridge, and concealing any imperfections, and then using the Real Techniques Mini Eraser Sponge to help blend everything out. It's quite small and precise, so I can focus the concealer on the areas where I want it. to foundation, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation along with the Sonia Kashuk Flat Foundation Brush and I'm just going to be applying thin layers onto my face and by doing this you can also help to build up the coverage naturally. Now I'm going to be going in with this IOPE Puff just to help blend out the foundation. Now using the Etude House Play 101 Contour Duo Stick, I'm going to be placing that onto the sides of my face, onto my forehead, and also onto the sides of my nose. And using a cream helps to make sure that the shadows are blended into the skin more, so contour helps to give more dimension to the face. I'm just going to be blending that out once again with my Real Techniques sponge. going to be lightly powdering any areas where I tend to get oily and also under my eyes but that's mainly it since I want this look to still be very glowy. I'm going to be first combing them out and then using an eyebrow pencil just to fill in any gaps in my eyebrows and I'm just going with my natural eyebrow shape for this look. Using peaches and cream from the Too Faced eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using that as a base color. Then I'm going to be going in with a super light brown and just putting that into the crease. Going back to the Sweet Peach palette, I'm going to be taking the color Puree and placing that on the outer corners and then gradually blending it in to the crease. And I'm also going to apply a little bit onto my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to be going back in with the same light brown color from earlier just to blend everything out. Taking this light golden color, I'm just going to be placing that on to the center of my lids and blending it in to the inner corners just to add a little bit of a highlight. Charmed I'm Sure, which is a dark brown color, I'm going to be lining my eyes, and using an eyeshadow is more natural than using a pencil or a liquid liner. Now using this champagne shade, I'm going to be placing that onto my lower inner corners, just to add a bit more brightness to the look. Now onto mascara, I'm going to be using the Etude House Dr. Mascara Fixer as a lash primer and then using my favorite mascara which is the Too Cool For School Mascara. Back onto the face, I'm going to be highlighting and I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter and this is a cream product so I'm going to be using my fingers for this. Since I wanted a little bit more glow, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild highlighter.
To add a little bit more definition to my nose, I'm going to be using the Can Make No Shadow Powder. Since I wanted a little bit more of a shine to my eyes, I'm going to be using the Stila Jewel Eyeshadow and placing that onto the center of my eyelids along with the center of my lower lash line. Finally, onto lips, I'm going to be using a lip tint just to add a flush of color to the lips. So I'm going to be using this Editom Color Live Tint. Finally, I'm just going to be topping it off with some lip gloss and that's all for the look. So this is the final look. It's perfect for every day because it's super simple to do and it's just very nice and natural looking. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Uh.